One of the questions I get asked all the time, how do you get your buttercream so white? And in this video, I'm gonna show you. Hi, it's Carolyn. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm a professional cake decorator just outside of Philly. I've been decorating cakes since 2002. And on this channel, I share my tips and tricks and ways that I bake and decorate cakes to help you along your journey. So if you'd like to join me, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you can get notified whenever I release a new video. Okay, now that I got that out of the way, one of the questions that I've been getting asked so often is how do I get my American buttercream so white? And don't you hate when people say white or wheel or cool whip from uh, Family Guy? <laughs> anyway, how do I get my buttercream so white? So in my amazing, delicious, and I know I always say amazing, delicious American buttercream recipe, I use butter and shortening. So butter naturally has a yellow tint to it, which can make your buttercream look a little off white or yellow. So I have a little trick that I'm going to show you how to uh, cancel that yellow and make it look very white. And before we get started, just want to remind you that I designed my first free guide for you guys. It's a birthday cake design blueprint. It'll help you come up with designs or with ideas to design your birthday cakes. And I will link that in the description below. So let's get into the video. All right, so to make this recipe, you're going to need two and a half sticks or 10 ounces of butter. I like salted butter. Um, I just have always used salted butter. You can use unsalted and then add your own salt, but I just prefer to use salted butter. Three quarter cup or six ounces of high ratio shortening. I like to use, uh, there's a brand called Sweetex. There's other high ratio shortenings. The high ratio shortening has a better mouth feel and I just feel like it holds up better. You can use a shortening like Crisco. However, I found that I get better results with the high ratio shortening. Two pounds of 10X powdered sugar, big ups to Target. Some purple gel coloring and my absolute favorite, Wilton Clear Vanilla. This stuff is amazing. It tastes so good. It does not add any color to your icing and people love the flavor of this. I have been using this flavoring for about 20 years. It's amazing and I'm obsessed. I have my paddle attachment on my mixer and I put this butter in the microwave for about 10 to 15 seconds to soften it up. You can see I can squeeze it, but it's not melted, right? So you just want it about room temperature. So I'm gonna add the two and a half sticks of butter to the bowl. And I'm just gonna beat this on a medium speed for about 30 seconds just to cream it together. Now you can see that the butter obviously has a yellow hue to it. So if you just keep adding ingredients, your icing is going to look a little yellow or off white. So in order to counteract this, what you have to do is take the opposite color on the color wheel, which is purple. So yellow is on the opposite side of purple. So a little bit of purple is going to cancel out the yellow in the butter and it's going to bring it to a more neutral white color. Now, this is where you just wanna have a toothpick and we are adding, I'm telling you, a teeny, teeny, tiny bit of purple. You just want to cancel the yellow color. You do not want it to start to look lavender. If you add too much purple, it's gonna look like a really light purple. It'll look kind of weird. So it's better to start um, small and I have my toothpick here. I don't wanna just drop it in. I wanna drop it on a toothpick. I'm talking like just the tip. <laughs> Can I say that? <laughs> Seriously, just the tip, right? It's a teeny, teeny bit of purple. I'm going to wipe that on the butter. Better to start with a little bit and then you can add more, okay? So I put that in and I'm just gonna mix this on a medium speed for about 20 seconds. And since I don't have a scraper blade, I'm just gonna stop and scrape down the sides and just turn it on again for another 10 seconds or whatnot, just to make sure that it's all mixed together. Okay, I'm not sure if this is coming up, if you can tell a big difference but the butter already looks whiter than, than yellow. So this is working. Now, I have my 
shortening here and I just want to add this to the bowl. Now I want to whip this on a medium high speed for about a minute just to really cream everything together. But now that the shortening the butter is creamed together, I want to add the vanilla. I eyeball it. You can do between one and three teaspoons of it, but I just pour it in there, depending on how strong of a flavor you want. And then again, I'm gonna beat that for about 15 to 20 seconds. All right, now, I use this coffee scoop. Someone told me this was a coffee scoop because I had no clue what it was before. <laughs> but I just use this to add liquid to my icing. Um, but you can just use a tablespoon. This is about a tablespoon. Now, I prefer to just use regular water to add my liquid. However, if you want, you can add coffee creamer or milk. Um, I really haven't found much of a difference between me using milk or uh, water so I just prefer to use water now what I've started doing because I don't use a scraper blade I hate using scraper blades because it just gets all over the place what I've started doing so not so nothing sticks to the bottom is I'm just gonna add two tablespoons of the liquid to the bowl before I add the powdered sugar this way the sugar and the butter are not gonna stick to the bottom I've just found that this works so if you're not using a scraper blade, try this method and see if it works. And now I'm just going to add the entire bag all at once. And now you can see that it's stuck up here. So I'm just gonna turn on the mixer just a little bit, just so all the sugar can come out. Now I am gonna cover this with a towel just because I don't want a big sugar cloud to go all over my kitchen. So I'm going to turn it on and, and mix it this way. I'm just going to put it on the lowest speed and mix it until it starts to come together. You're going to see that it's going to need more liquid and then we'll add more liquid. So I'm going to lock it and turn it on very low for about 30 seconds and then I'll add more liquid. Now you can hear that it starts to slow down a bit as it starts to incorporate. Right. So I'm gonna turn it up just one more notch. And start adding liquid one tablespoon at a time. So now, again, since I don't use a scraper blade, I want to lift this up and scrape down the sides. If you're using a scraper blade, you may not have to do this step. So I scrape down the sides and now I wanna scrape the bottom as well. And because I added those two tablespoons of water, nothing is really sticking to the bottom now. So I added two tablespoons of water before I started adding the sugar. And then I added another two tablespoons of water and I probably am gonna need one more. So that's five tablespoons of liquid for this. Now, in the summer months, when it's more humid, I need less water. If it is cold out and dry out, I find that I need about six or seven tablespoons. So it all depends on the humidity, how much liquid you're gonna need. You're just gonna want it, you're going to want to get it to a nice spreadable consistency and I will show you what I mean. So just turning this on, adding another almost one tablespoon. And then I'm just gonna turn it up to a medium high for about 15 seconds, just to mix it all together. And that is a nice spreadable consistency. Perfect, and it is white. It does not have that yellow hue from the butter because we canceled it out with the purple. And there is your beautiful white American buttercream. So here you go. Here is the most delicious, whitest ever American buttercream that you will ever have. It sounded so stupid, <laughs> but it is. It's so white and it's so delicious. So, all right, a few things I wanna say about this and things that I did go over in the video. However, I feel like I need to reiterate. When you add the purple, I'm telling you, you saw it was just the tip of that toothpick Seriously, the teeniest, teeny, 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 do I have to say teeny anymore, 
amount of purple to cancel out that yellow. I've done it before where I've added too much purple and it looks like this weird off white light purple color. So you just have to make sure that you just start, start off a little bit. If you add a little bit of the purple and then add all the rest of the ingredients and still after you add the sugar, if it still looks like to be a little yellow, you can do again, take a little bit on the tip of a toothpick and add a little bit more purple and mix that all together. But yeah, that is going to cancel out any of the yellow in the butter and make your buttercream super white. <laughs> and also um, you can, if you don't use butter in your buttercream, there are some people who use just a simple shortening based buttercream. Obviously that is going to be more bright white because it doesn't have any butter in it. People usually add like a butter flavoring, but I just like to put real butter in my buttercream. So if you do that as well, just make sure that you cancel out the yellow with the purple. Another tip, and I know I said this in the beginning, but this Wilton Clear Vanilla, oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Why is it so good? It's so amazing. I even sometimes I'll put a little bit of water in a pot, add some of this to the, to the pot and just boil it and your house smells like vanilla. Seriously, this is amazing. I would wear it. I would spray it on my body if I could. It tastes so good. People love the flavor. It doesn't add any coloring to your icing. And I will link this below. I'll find it and link it below. You need this in your life. If you've never tried it, just trust me. Get some, try it, and let me know what you think. And another thing about the, the high ratio shortening. Now, I'm lucky enough to have a restaurant in this area that does sell the high ratio shortening. Sh shortening. It comes in 50 pound blocks, which is kind of a pain in the butt because it's this, as my boyfriend says, gigantic uh, he has a British accent and I always make fun of him. It's gigantic because I say it's gigantic. It's a gigantic block <laughs> of the shortening and it is kind of annoying. So what I do is when I get the shortening, I have little Tupperware containers that I scoop the shortening out and I put in here in these little containers so I'm not scooping the shortening out of a big block the whole time, right? So that's the biggest pain in the butt of that. The high ratio shortening is a little pricier. However, I think it's totally worth it. Um, it it's probably about $100 for a 50 pound box, uh, block that's American dollars, but it, it's totally worth it. And it lasts you a little while. So um, I would definitely recommend making that investment in the high ratio shortening. If not, you can still use like a Crisco or a vegetable shortening. It just, the Crisco will be a little greasier, so you may not need to add as much water and it'll just have a little bit of a different mouthfeel. It could be a little grainier, okay? And the last thing is storage. So I use so much of this buttercream that I go through it so often that I don't really have to store it. However, you can put this in an airtight container for about two weeks in your refrigerator. If you're gonna keep it longer than two weeks, you can put it right in the freezer and then just make sure you thaw it before you use it. But I use this buttercream for everything. It is life, it is so good, and I hope you like it too. So if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them below and I will get back to you. And you can follow me on social media. I am on Instagram and Facebook and, my, and I have my website. And I have two Instagram accounts right now because Instagram is being weird. So I had to create another account. I'm not gonna get into it. So you can follow me on all those platforms. I will link them below as well. And if you wanna stick around, you can watch these videos next. Am I pointing at the right spot? <laughs> and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Please like this video if you liked it. It really helps out my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one. Bye.